today we're using a spec scale team made by Eternum, or at least he posted it in the OE room. And I am fucking triggered because I tried to record like four times today. One time, uh, two times my internet died. And then when I came back and after my internet died, I, next game I load, I get stalled. It's like a 40 minute game, I win it, but it's just not fun to upload. And when I try to record again, these guys make fucking awful plays and dodge every move. So yeah, here we are with a new next try. But yeah, he's gonna lead Skarm because it's a ladder tryhard or a Jolteon. Okay. But yeah, this is a Spex Kalio team, which is a cool mod if they don't have a Pex. And yeah, the last guy that I played had a Pex and he tried to sack it to Magnus Domhedron. He dodged Magnus Dom to get up a Toxic Spike and then next turn he switched out. Yeah, fucking amazing plays. So he's gonna Volt here. Gonna grab Momentum. Skarm is coming out, so we double back to Heatran here. Because I'm not trying to U-turn. Um, um, Finny comes out, so I should have U-turned, yeah, my bad. Because if Finny has a move like Skull to burn, trick Finny, okay, okay, but guy. Yeah, we double the Heatran on the Skarm now. Skarm slash Heatran should come out here, yeah. We click rocks. Yeah, we got uh, Defog on Megalati, which is a bit weird, but it gives us an extra move slot on Lando to run Punishment to help us with stuff like Reuniclus and Combat Megalati. Um, I just go. Hmm. Yeah, I just go Lati. I don't want to let my Kelly take any chip just yet. This could be Toxic Trend though, which is really bad. If I get Toxic, because like Earthquake doesn't do anything in terrain, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. He could have uh, lived Earthquake with Eve. But he goes Finny, I got a juicy crit there. I'll just go... Hmm. Coco is the better play actually. I got a nice dodge. So I'll just Horn Leech because I've been doubling around quite a bit. Yeah, I deserve that. Dude, I got hexed so much today. Yeah, these guys make unplays. I should remember that I'm on the ladder. I'm only like 1600. Let me check my rank again. So was my old I was 24 and 0 on before hex etc happened. Um, what does my rank not show? It's fine. I'll just go Heatran here. He could spike. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to dehog soon. I'm gonna map my here. Um, Vigo's Tren. Cool play, I guess. <laughs> but I'm expecting Finny or Greninja. If I had bloomed him, I would click it here. But yeah, he goes Tren, makes the unplay, gets rewarded. Cool. Mm -mm -mm. So we go Lottie here. This is the chance to dehog. Terrain ends next turn, so he's gonna be forced out by Earthquake. He taunts, so I can't defog. That's really fucking bad. So we just psychic here. He shouldn't stay in, knowing that Earthquake could come out. Should just go top of Fini, and I want to um, get good chip on that. Uh, psychic obviously does more than Earthquake. Okay, we nice, nice, unlucky and bad today. Cool. So we just Earthquake here because it covers the Greninja. Like if Greninja comes out on that, we at least get some chip. So now either Greninja um. Yeah, Greninja has to come out. I guess Skarm is an option, kind of, if it has some spadev. But yeah, I'll, I don't know if I can go Bulu because I don't know his set. So I go Kelly first. He's life or protein, which is a big threat. Um, Scarf Lando at least outspeeds that, and he's probably in range from Earthquake or U-turn now, so that's cool. At least. So I'm expecting him to potentially HPS predicting my Lando because I already played Risky. So I'm just gonna um, quick scald here on the over predict. Yep, like these guys are just too obvious. Like, should have um, calked if secret thought kills, or maybe should have pumped. But I, he's choice locked, so we get um, a kill with kill you there. And now he can go. If fake out kills, he can go for that. I don't know what else he's gonna do. Uh, I guess Greninja is gonna be able to kill me. Yep. So I'll just sack this because with the hazards up, this doesn't really do that much. And he gunks, so now I can. <laughs> I can go Coco here and just click Thunderbolt. He doesn't have a counterplay. He doesn't have any counterplay. Also, this is um, U turn now because I kept facing camera ups. And yeah, this in general because Gastron is quite common in OU. You want to have U turn on this. Well, Volt Switch would have been better in this game. <laughs> like after Jolteon died. But uh, I U-turn here into uh, Megalari, get the defog off, because these spikes are quite annoying. I could also like, um, and I think Skarm is coming out. He bricked in, he's gonna break the earthquake. No, he tries to sack, tries to sack his Heatran. I uh, get a nice dodge there. Okay, this guy's getting quite unlucky. Unfortunate. I'm locked, so I can't even say sorry. Um, I went to my friend's alt, who is locked, and I forgot that he's locked. 
But it's only for six more days, so it's fine. It's not a big deal, like I don't even care that much. It's just sometimes annoying when sometimes someone shit talks you in chat and you can't even talk back. But it's whatever. Usually I just ignore opponent at the moment when I'm locked. Um this still outspeeds Medi, but yeah, I guess I'll just go heat here. Yeah. Um why that was a huge misplay by the way on my part. Heatrun is my only way besides Coco of killing Skarm. But yeah, it's fine, I have Skarm. Uh I have Coco to kill Skarm is what I meant to say. I just met my yeah, like, I don't even know if he can Oko me. And afterwards if he clicks pump here, let's say he clicks pump. I just go Coco and click T ball and get a kill. Surf so shouldn't be able to kill me. So if I hit this magma, he should die because of the secondary effect. And there's a mo modest trend with max HP because uh, it still has speed investment to sp outspeed Bulu. But I don't think I need Timid on this because I outspeed. I can deal with opposing trend with Keldia plus Lari plus Lando. But yeah, I just um, sack my Lari, I guess. Power punch. So if he has bullet punch, this can get annoying. Probably second Bulu would have been the better play there. Because Lari can not speed and hit this for good damage. So I should have second Bulu yeah, that was a misplay. But I'm kinda in click on mode now. But yeah, let me see, what's my rank? It didn't show me earlier. Why is it not showing my rank? I don't get it. But yeah, it's the onset of nice bullet punch many. Um off quick and T bolt should um get the job done. Yep. And we got the Intimidate off, so Bullet Punch can't kill. I mean, I don't think it would have killed a plus one anyway, because this bulky Coco would have eaten it, yep. And Skarm is gonna go down to T-Bolt. And yeah, we're like 1800s, I think. So we're gonna get another one, change up the music real quick, be right back. Whose mans is this? Okay, so we're facing some Unteam. I think there's a RMT, but he changed like one or two months. <clears throat> so this is like Glare. Glare Drady Gun. I don't want to play this garbage. It's gonna glare my poor Keldeo. The first time when I recorded with this team, I expect Kelly put in work, like killing Boo with HP Poison. But now I get like teams where it doesn't do that much. Well, it's actually good for Bishop, so you can say this was a misplay, but I don't know. I think I'm fine with this Bishop. So thankfully, no para, para there. And I think he has the Raw or Dragon Tail, so he would have gone for Raw or Dragon Tail next turn anyway. So the, even if I got Para there, it didn't really matter, I guess. And now I'm expecting the Zerkatry to mimic you. Wait, this doesn't. Never mind. I was gonna say this is not Edge Land or for Pinsir, but we have Coco to check it. I don't know if I wanna go hard into it. Yeah, I'm gonna go hard into it in case he SDs. Yeah, exactly. How did I know? These people are so greedy on ladder. Because if I go Lando and he SDs, he just gets a kill. That's why I went hard Coco. Because ladder people are greedy and make shit plays. And usually they get rewarded for it, but I called the unplay in there and punished it. Cool. So he doesn't really have a good switch in and he just sacks his pincer. He doesn't even get quick attack damage. Nice ladder play, a classic unplay. Like, what the fuck? I played some guy earlier with Volk. I could not have won that ever, but he just sacked his Volk for some reason. Like, a well played Volk would have destroyed me. So we U turn into our. <laughs> I don't know, this is a tough one. Well, Bulu, if, he gets, if I get put to bed, might be a misplay. But yeah, now we just Horn Leech here. He's switching his Como. Well, Como is actually a threat, kind of, if it gets its boost. Well, it can't get the boost because I have two fairies. So this is the Z, so Como is not the Z. Nice dodge, nice lucky and bad coming through. I take those. I got hexed enough today on ladder. We take those. Um, so he does hit the hypnosis there. So he's gonna go for either HPIs or Tail Glow. He's probably gonna go for Tail Glow. So what I'm gonna do is go hard into Landris on the Tail Glow. And just click Earthquake. Because I don't know if U turn kills. And Turin goes away next turn anyway. So we hit everything neutral. If he HPIs them, I would have lost my land. It would have been really rough. But I figured he would go for Tail Glow, right? Just makes the most sense because Bulu would not have taken uh, much from HPIs. So I just Earthquake because I think this might be like sub Belly Drum and I don't want to let him set up. Sub Custap? Yep. How did I know? So I've played this before, that's why. <laughs> and not the specific team, but just that set. So cool that gets his GG and dips. We should um, get a little bit higher into the 1600s now. I know it's not high at all, but I'm just using a fun team. 
I just want to have like some fun laddering sessions. Um, not too long, like, I don't know, 25-30 minutes. But let me pause it and change the music. Okay, I got Trick Room, um, that's gonna be super annoying to play. But I think Heatrun is a good lead and just get my rocks. This is gonna leave a bit oxy. Well, if he breaks my thing we need and leads a bit Kron, that's fine. So we got a young Bula in the back. So we just rocks, um, he's gonna exchange rocks. That doesn't even matter because I get them up anyway. Well, he gets an extra turn. I don't think it makes a huge difference. So trick room. Yeah, we just map my here. He's probably gonna memento. But just in case he wants to switch something in, I'm gonna map my. And I don't think switching like gains me much because I'm just gonna take rocks on something and he can go to the counter anyway afterwards. Okay, so Amarok is obviously like deadly in Trick Room. It's like super nasty. He can um, SD here and destroy my entire team. And also if I stack Lando more, that's gonna be a huge problem. I don't know if I'm gonna stack Lando, I'm just gonna throw it in right now, predicting... Uh, well, hopefully he just bomb ranks and makes a misplay, but I assume he's gonna click SD and destroy me. I'm gonna have to pick a sack after he SDs, I just don't know what I'm gonna sack. Um, maybe the Lari, because the Lari doesn't do much this game. I think Lari is a good sack here. Um, you can say I just let us take rocks for nothing. Yeah, you can say that for sure. The SD was really obvious that it was coming out. I guess I could have elf but that was too risky and Tren just die. Tren is a good mobile and you cannot check. So Lari obviously dies to Flablets. I think what I'm gonna do is Lando here into into Kaleo. I'm gonna Kalk. I don't think I can kill him. I don't think I can kill um, Merrick with off power from Heatran. Or oh, have like way less special attack than I put in. I don't remember how much. Is it 20 or 40 EVs? The elf power does not kill Marowak, yeah. I'm gonna go kill you on a, on a shadow bone, but he doesn't, okay. Like that. So he gets a trick room up again here, this is really fucking bad. We're gonna attempt to burn him. But yeah, these only run Ice Beam, Trick Room, Moonlight and Luna Dance, so he can't touch me unless he has running Psychic, which is not common. And he doesn't have a good switching for this. Well, I guess you can just Luna Dance the Marowak and... No, actually not really, not really. And Kelly does beat Crawl on more one, so I'm not sure if that was the play. Of course I don't get the burn. So you can knock off my specs here, which is annoying. Um, I probably should go into Tabubulu. Yeah, yeah, I should go into Tabubulu and keep my specs, because if Kelly can destroy him. Whenever Trick Room runs out, this destroys him. You can pump probably Oko's Mobile with some chip. Um, maybe even without some chip. I'm expecting either Megina or Chris, but oh, 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 I think I can just SD here. Well, I have a mobile too. Um, that didn't work out. In, that didn't work out at all. I should have just holy. <laughs> but this forces him to go for the fire move, so I can go into heat train and earth power. Why the fuck would you make that play? I guess he just predicted me. But I was a plus two bull in front of you. Like, that just didn't make... Like, I get that you could potentially predict me, but it just didn't make any sense, because... Plus the Bulu, threat. You don't do that. But yeah, you can say you predicted me there, whatever. Trend was important, so I'm really mad now. Uh, did I have a mid-ground play? Yeah, Land... Landers would have been... Landers would have gotten fucked. So that crit... I would have done 48 without crit. Probably didn't matter, right? Maybe. If I got the burn, I would have tweet killed him anyway, I'm pretty sure. So nice terrain bring me back to full. Pretty sure he's... F wait, wait, wait. So he's gonna trick room and Luna dance. Can I get a crit or something? Damn. High roll, but not enough. So he's gonna Luna dance here. But Keldeo in means Marowak doesn't get a kill, so I think I'm fine with Keldeo being in. He's probably gonna... He does go Marowak, which is an unplay. I don't know why. Like, I get that you want to get health back on it, but the one that I have in beats this, so that just didn't make any sense. 
So goodbye, Marowak. No more while or Coron can revenge me, obviously, but that's fine. I think I can set my double Coco here. Um, I probably should have attacked him because Kelly dies to Aqua Jet after Rocks. Yeah, that was a misplay. Because if he has these damn screwed, that was a misplay. Yeah. Not sure what I was thinking there. Huge misplay. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully I still have Melandris to Earthquake this. I probably doesn't Oko because he's max HP. Wait, Trick Room was still up, but yeah, I live one. I didn't see that Trick Room was still up because the terrain was over the. Like, when the terrain is uh, in the way of the Trick Room, sometimes I don't pay attention, I don't realize it, my bad. But yes, um, I was able to kill him with the only 60 investment I think I have. A little bit surprised by that, but yeah, we win this game. And then think I don't think I played this optimal, but whatever, it worked. So let me pause it, change up the music, get another one, as we're gonna be, uh, I guess, 1640 or something. Okay, what is this? Oh, Volcarona, no. <laughs> Anyway, so like, Greninja leads like really obvious here. Could be Scarf Grand. Yeah, Kelly lead. Alakazam. So we get like the worst potential lead, and Alakazam destroys my team. Like it fucking destroys me. If I was my, like when I use them, I never got matchups where it did that much work. But this guy is like the perfect matchup. I guess I'm gonna attempt to pivot from Charge Beam. Who is this? I was gonna say we pivot from that into Landorus. But if he's psychic here for some reason, it's gonna be bad or Shadow Balls. Yeah, you just focus blast, it does a fuck ton because of the punishment is base 80. Does that kill? I'll just U turn. <laughs> yeah, I figured he wouldn't stay in exactly. And now we get Kel you in, right? And he doesn't have a good Kel you answer. So we can just click Scald because I'm not trying to miss a pump out here and like everything gets hit hard enough and Dragonite can potentially get burned by that. Zem could come out but it's gonna take a huge chunk. Maybe pump was the better play because it might have awkward Zem but then he could have gone D-Net anyway. So he does just sack his Glyph score, nice play my guy. Expecting the expecting Mimikyu or Zem to come out. So Greninja comes out which is not a good Play unless he has e sense. Does he have e sense? Um, I kind of have to scout for e sense and go Bulu here. HP electric. What in the fuck? That's no set for Mantine or what? Who uses Mantine even these days? So we're gonna go Lando. Actually, we're gonna go Heatran because it covers Gunk Shot and Ice Beam. Yeah, Lando doesn't cover Ice Beam, Lando only covers the Gunk Shot. Don't freeze me. Okay, so now low kick or pump might come out, so I kind of have to switch again. I mean, I don't have a perfect scout, I just, yeah, okay. So that, what in the fuck just happened? Volcarona, which gives me a lot of trouble. If I just magma there, I would have been in a perfect position. So his grand doesn't have a move to hit my Heatran. So his Volk has HP ground, I think, because he just brought it in on a Heatran. So that means that... Well, if he's psychic, I just lose if I go kill you here anyway. But I'm, yeah, I don't think he's gonna have a move to hit both kill you and he trend, so I'm gonna try to go kill you first. But he doubles Dina. Uh, I don't know if he predicted that, but I guess props to him if he did. So what I'm gonna do here is Lando U turn. Goes for power up on. Yeah, okay, get me the fuck out of here. I cannot play low ladder. What the fuck is your rank? Like what? 1534. Hello, I'm not that low. Why am I getting these people? I'm high. I'm like 100 points higher than them. I know that's not high at all, but still. Um, but yeah, we can go Coco and click HP Ice. I don't know if I'll ever plus one earthquake. I have a Shuka Berry and some Bulk. Steam is not. Actually, it's kind of annoyed by Weavile, so I ne do need speed on this for Weavile. So yeah, E speed. Oh, he's weakness policy. I activated this trap card, as, he might, as someone might say. So yeah, my Coco is gonna go down. I think I have to go Ladi because everything else gets destroyed. I know if Ladi should live E speed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mega Ladi gets extra bulk. Like if he had Fire Punch or something like Ice Punch, Bulu would have died. Earthquake would have killed this. 
But why not run Dragon Dance on that? I don't understand. Power Punch. That makes no fucking sense. So bad, dude. People are awful on there. But yeah, this doesn't mean anything. Mimikyu is a huge problem, which sounds funny because Mimikyu is usually not a threat. Um. Yeah, I just sack this and then I go Lando. I don't have a switch and I have to sack. HP Ice? Yeah, let me calc real quick. So my land only has like um, I think it has like 60 attack investment. Alakazam. Okay, earthquake gets one here. Could also U-turn, but I don't think I lose anything from quaking. So he goes hard Vulcan sex. Nice. That's the way to get rid of the threat. If it's Skywalk, that's gonna be funny, but I get information if he's Skywalk. Like, I'm just saying, I know it's not a set at all, but at this point, I'm expecting every unset possible from these ladder kids. So Zammer comes in. Well, Heatron is needed because it was his Greninja set and it also checks the Mimikyu. So a player could make a sack my Keld. I don't want to sack my Keld, but he has HP Electric on this. This beats me and this also beats me, so I have to sack my Keld here. I think it's the best play that I can make overall because everything else this can put in work and this can put in work this can beat the Mimikyu, this can beat uh, this and this so yeah I'll go land and click off quick again um U-turn is actually the better play but he goes hard grand so that's cool with me like I thought he would go Mimikyu um, and then U-turn might have been the better play but you can go back to them and pick another kill here I think I'm gonna have to sack my. Okay, he goes Mimikyu. Mm -hmm. I wanna break the disguise, but maybe that wasn't the play. Do I have a plus to Shadow Sneak? Landorus versus Mimikyu. I'm gonna make him plus three because of Intimidate. It's a roll. Fuck. If he's Life Orb, it's a roll. Maybe he's Z move. Uh -huh. I think Heatron is the play. I don't know. I need that as backup insurance to um, beat the Alakazam. So now, how much intact does my Bulu have? 296. I should have put all these calcs. Like earlier in the other life I did, I um, imported every set, right? This Bulu has like no attack investment. 296. It's like impish. I don't know. Yeah, it has no attack investment. So how much does that do to Mimikyu? Okay, it still beats the one we want, I think. So Elf Power should be enough to bring it in range. He goes Zambrating the Magma Storm, so Elf Power works out nicely. The thing is, I don't really have a play here. Well, I think I just win, actually. Yeah, I just won. Sack this. Then I go Lando. I click off quick, I get my kill. And yeah. Bulky um, Bulu is gonna come through in the end if Lando. Uh, Lando's not gonna beat the Mimikyu 1v1, I think. This earthquake should probably wanna do like 60 70%. 80 actually. Well, Mimikyu's ass. But yeah, you use the Z. Let's snuggle forever and yeah, we won't reach to pick up the victory. Cool. So I'm gonna pause the change of the music and get one last game. Because I like to keep this shorter and. I don't know if my net is gonna stay. Like, I have to see it so much today. Because of a storm outside. 1648, okay. Okay, back with the last game. What is this? Um, Curum is annoying, and so is Low Bunny. Okay, I'll lead Lando because that gives me U turn on Curum. See, Intimidate goes before his thing, so we know we're faster, guaranteed. He's not Scarf. And we go killed here. I think we just click Hydro Pump. And hopefully connect. Dude, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Why even try to predict when you not when you're gonna get hexed anyway? <laughs> so he goes to that for that. We just rock here. He vaults, which is a shit play. I, I know Magma would not have done that much, but still. I mean, Magma would have missed anyway. That's how, always how it goes for me. Pump and Magma always miss. I should stop using them. Break the um, 
He's gonna defog here. We're gonna taunt and flex on this guy. Just he triggered me by hexing me, so I'm gonna have to flex on him. He tried to rock. So I guess this gives me my bulu. Like I know that was an unnecessary and bad play, but I had to flex on him. Okay, now he had to flex on me. I see, I see. So he's gonna um fusion bolt. No, he just clicks it, okay. I tried to flex there and break the fusion bolt. That was I mean, I didn't have a good switch in, to be fair. If I go Kelly on a fusion bolt, I get destroyed. Uh, Heatron, yes, could have been the play. But Heatron is like quite important for like... I don't know. It's up to speed, Sladi, if it discharge Parasite. I had that shit happen today earlier. Because it was, uh, was HPS discharge, it's an unset. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna click Secret Sword. That's what I should have done earlier. I don't even know why I clicked Pump. I should have just clicked Secret Sword. I guess Pump because it... I clicked Pump because it covered the Coco as well, but it's fine. Mm. So he's gonna um, Volt Switch here, so we're gonna go Hard Landorus. We gotta flex on these guys. Well, he can just stay in, so that didn't really do anything for me. Yeah, so that worked out. Just map my here, get some good chip. I don't even know if it's, is that AV? It is AV, but it's not maxed with FAV because that's a lot. So low pony comes out and he forfeits. Cool. So that was short, so I get another one, I guess. Good okay, last game. Of course, he has a Finny for Keldeo. Wait, is my music playing? I can't hear it. It is playing. I'm gonna scout for all out pummeling here. His plays either going Zygarde or going for all out pummeling. So Bulu is a good mid ground, right? Hey, focus, focus blast, and I think that's specs. So Ferrothon or Morwell is gonna come out here, so we double back in the Heatran. Lit. And we get our rocks up on the Zygarde slash Tapufini. Okay, yeah, the music is starting now. It took forever to start, I guess. Nice, re nice red remix. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes these people stay in for no. I mean, I just stayed in with a trend on a landrus, so I shouldn't talk. But I knew he would either try to defog or rocks. But yeah, sometimes they stay in with Pharaoh on trend to go for hazards or knockoff. I mean, if I had Wisp here, like if I'm him, I would go Finny here because Wisp is a potential play on the Zygarde. I wish Tren is not that uncommon. So he goes Landris. I really want to do it to him and taunt again, but it's just not the play. I'll go Keldeo. Mmm, Bulu was probably the better play, but this works out. So we click HP Poison here on the Tabu Fini. I'm gonna do like, I guess 35 or something. It's my head calc, let's see how much it does. 47? Ooh, it's lit at the night show. So he's gonna have to go and do Feral, Mawile. Zygarde Orlando knowing that I'm locked in. So do I have a double that covers everything? Not really. I don't have a double that covers everything. I'm gonna go Bulu. Um, actually, I should have maybe gone land. So, but he got his land. Cool, cool, cool. So, kind of expecting U turn here. I'll just SD because oh he's Skystruck HP eyes. I did not see that coming. Okay, I, I scouted for the pummeling, but I didn't scout for the Skystrike. Because Skystrike is just not common these days. And that was my bad. I basically thought he was Zemo Zygarde at this point. But yeah, my bad not scouting. Heavy miss heavy misplay. But yeah, this just gives me Kaldeo. Skull should be able to twit give it a finny after rocks, so I don't think I have to predict. But I tell you showing um, that it can put in work if they don't have a Pex or a Venusaur. I mean, even if they have a Venusaur, if you burn it, you can fuck it up. But if he, um, that crit didn't matter, obviously. Cause he, well, it kind of mattered because he could have gone Ferrothorn on the Skull next turn. Um, in Misty Terrain, he doesn't have to fear getting burned. So that's what he does decide to do now. He turned is like my only way to kill us after Bulu went down, so... I have to be careful that I don't lose it. Actually, I have Spec Secret Sword, what am I saying? But yeah, I got a pretty obvious here, so I'll double into Landris. He protects to see what I would have locked myself into. So I'll go back trend. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna make the same play again. Because the Zygarde should definitely come out here. The other play would be his own landers, but that's not really a good play in my opinion. Well, I could stay in and just get... I could stay in because I get extra leftovers that my Heatron appreciates. So yeah, I'll just stay in here and hopefully get some chip on the Zygarde. Maybe find out if it's leftovers. Yeah, like, I don't know. Okay, just sex it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. People just do that randomly. I mean, I doubled the round earlier, so I get, I guess, why he did that. So I go... I go Lottie here, which should be able to take this on. So we just default. I don't need um, rocks and spikes on my side. That's a little bit too annoying. And the rocks don't hit his team that hard. Mawa is the only one in Atlanta that get hit neutral yet to resist rocks even. So Lily comes out, um, we know he specs, Tren is still needed to check the Mawa, so I don't really want to go hard Tren here. Yeah, I don't really have a good play, I think I'm just gonna get some damage on this. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some damage off, see where he locks himself into, and if he over predicts, yep, he over predicts, I can just recover spam because, um, eventually Psychic Tren runs out and I wall him and Psychic just picks up the lander there. Obviously, I don't get a Psychic Terrain boost because I'm... Um, I have Levitate. Yeah, I just change up the music real quick. So we got a Mawal here. That is a uh, Hyper Cutter. So, Landers can really switch in there. Well, I go Heat Terrain here. If he's Focus Punch, cool. Congratulations. You got me, but now I just have to hit a Magma. I could have rocked there because the sucker was really obvious. And... Fuck. Just go Lando here. And off Quake, because I'm pretty sure I live a plus one sucker punch. And yeah, I think I have this wrapped up. Oh, what? That doesn't kill, yeah. I think it's a roll. I think I just click Skull with Kelly here. Because Kelly outspeeds Lily and it might be able to kill Lily. Yeah, yeah it kills Lily, the range it's at, so it's forcing the Zygarde. <coughs> yeah, you go down, my friend. Ah, nice Kelly putting at least some work. Like, I know it could have done better. Um, but yeah, prevent this from setting up for free. And Sugar Coco should be able to wrap this up. Hopefully. You can't DD again. Oh, he says he's just left over, so Sugar Coco is gonna eat this with ease. If he was, um. Yeah, obviously he can't be Z move. He already showed Z move. Oh, he crit me. Oh no, X! Oh, not like this. Oh, actually, my laddie is still at full. But I don't know if Psychic kills. Probably should have. Yeah, lost. That guy really said GG. That guy really said GG after dodging Magma Storm. And after dodging Magma Storm and critting my Coco. And yeah, to end it off, he has to crit my Heatran. Great fucking game. So we're not gonna end it on that. Um, I probably could I play that, could I have played that different? Like, I could have maybe made like one or two plays different, but I think that was just bullshit hacks. Like, that's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna change up the song. We're actually gonna keep it. What am I saying? I only played it. I just started playing this like a few minutes ago. We're gonna leave Kelio here, predicting a Garchomp slash who? Uh, Garchomp slash Lando lead, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really pissed now. I had that game guaranteed. Like, I maybe could have played it better, but hello. So I'm gonna assume that Spec Secret thought Oko's a Hoopa. Yep. Kelio's still showing that it can put in some work. That guy really said GG after doing that. Getting that crit. So the U-turn here is quite obvious. U-turn slash volt switch. Um, so he T-bolts, doesn't make much sense. Mowal or Pharaoh Thorn could come out here. Lando's also an option. I think I'll go Lando here. Covers his Mowal and kinda covers his Landris. And yeah, he does have U-turn which is a bit annoying, but even if I stay in there I was intimidated so I couldn't really do much damage. Even if I had DD, he could have gone mobile and intimidated me again. So I like this play better. 
So I have a few options here. I can go Kaldio, then I have to predict if he wants to between. Like, I have to predict correct if I go Kaldio, basically. So I don't know if I want to do that. I'll probably just get up HP Ice here. Um, he's faster, so he's also Scarf. Yeah, I should've just gone call Kaldio like my god was telling me last turn. But yeah, this guy doesn't even double. So I'll just Secret Sword here, because I'm predicting the Pharaoh Thorn. Yep. Bop. Goodbye. Crit might have mattered, I don't know. But I would've done like 90 or 85 at least. So, and I would have just clicked it again and gotten good damage on the Coco next turn. Yeah, I don't think I would have doubled because I don't trust a lot of people. So I'll just do it, KO the Guard Chomp. Well, I guess if he's Z move, he can potentially kill me. Oh, he's Tank Chomp. Okay, Tank Chomp in 2018. Interesting. So he's gonna Dragon Tail, or Toxic, or some garbage, or Earthquake, I don't know. Uh, rocks up are not the biggest deal. That crit doesn't matter. He wasn't 2 it KO range anyway. So we just HP is here. And this. Kind of beats his entire team. Well, I guess Morwell can beat me when we won, but do I care if I lose this? Yeah, I just get damage on this. Yeah, damage on this is what I need. He focus punch is pretty he drain. I have no reason to like switch. And yeah, he forfeits. So cool. Thank you guys for watching. Nice and salty that one game. I'm thinking about getting another one, but m my voice is like dead as fuck. I don't know if you can tell. Like I recorded like one hour or something. Like 30 minutes out of that was a stall game, and I just got so bored and ended the recording. And played it off screen. The other parts were just games where I kept playing and like turn 20 or something. I just deceived and I tried again, tried again, because last days I haven't been uploading much. Like I finally uploaded some smoke tours. Before that, I haven't uploaded like nine days or something. You guys could maybe obviously tell, right? So now today I had some motivation. I wanted to bulk record, but my internet, my stupid internet connection said, nope, you're not doing that. But yeah, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Like I know this wasn't the best video just because I'm so triggered that I um, recorded multiple times and had to restart because of like, DCs and stuff. But I hope you still enjoy. And yeah, Spike Scale is cool um, if they don't have a PAX. You can see um, Finny and Bulu get sniped. Um, the game where Bulu got sniped, I played that before the recording started, so you couldn't see that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I talked about... I'm just gonna make a little bit of a nice rambling on at the ending. I talked about tournament games that I have in the bag recorded. From They are basically, if you guys wanna know what they are from, they are like, quite recent. They're from SPL, OST. Obviously smoke tours as well. So the thing is, I said I have them in the bag, but I'm obviously gonna focus on tournament games that are happening at the moment. Which is gonna be smoke tours. Um I know Blunder uploads a lot of them. So I'm focusing on I'm, I'm I have recorded every single series on smoke tours. But the main focus is gonna be the series that Blunder doesn't cover, just so you guys don't have to Like you have already seen it on Blunder's channel most likely. And I know I'm not gonna get any views. I know some people would still watch it. And I will still upload some series as well that Blunder uploads also. But I'm mainly at the moment gonna upload the series that he hasn't covered. Um, which is the, I think the Undisputed series, the Mount series, and obviously the Googly Backup Living series. I already uploaded two games. You can expect game three probably tomorrow. Um, anything else? Yeah, and you can expect Shonen Lives with like more fun teams because I don't want to try hard ladder. I hate ladder too much. You can expect more fun, Shonen Lives with more fun teams. So this was one of them. Um, Life of Zem is gonna be coming for sure. Um, Grass not Coco is gonna be coming. Shout out to UB, Grass Yum Coco. Stuff like that, just fun layering. Life of Zem here, what else? Potentially. Oh, this also has a Keldeo. I didn't even realize that. I could have used this as well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just like that team. Kinda, kinda look cool. I love Fire Water Grass cores. What else? Yeah, so basically, you can expect like one shot on live maybe a week. Yeah, tournament games. Hopefully, the goal is to upload every single day, but I know I'm not going to be able to do that um, because I have to do something um, every now, like every few days. And sometimes I'm just not motivated to record today. I was motivated, so here you get a juicy live. Would have been two or three lives if I didn't DC. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say, because some people said they wanted the old tournament games. I don't know when they're going to be coming because I'm focusing on the tournaments that are happening at the moment, which is Smoke Tours. 
and World Cup starts next week and my friends play in World Cup so I obviously want to record that. I'm not gonna do it as wild as I did it last year where I recorded like oh, way too many games from World Cup. I'm still gonna go record a lot, don't get me wrong. But I'm mainly gonna focus on games that are actually good. I have some World Cup qualifier games, someone asked for it. You can, if you want me to, I'll upload them, but in my opinion, I'm, they are not good games. Like, people just make fucking unplays. I, I cannot, my, my eyes bleed, I cannot watch that. Like, I know I make some, um, like, I make some misplays every now and then, right, in my life as well. Sometimes I just want to flex for no reason, or I just want to, like, click that for the, like, just for the video. Well, sometimes, um, it's, like, I'm not making any excuses, like, I'm aware that I also make misplays. Even when it's not to flex, I also make misplays. It just happens. But yeah, ma today basically it's also like you can also blame it on that that I was super triggered from trying to record with this Zam team here. I had like some fun games, like three games were fun, but three games were hexy and I deceived. I also got um, some guys beat me fair and square. So if you're watching this and you saw me use this team and you beat me square and fair, yep. But you, that video did not happen because it was only one or two games. Like it was like two games that I played completely. I think like one one and then I won like two or three more. But they were like, was a stall, they were so boring that no one wants to watch them, so I didn't upload that. And then the next game, I deceit. I tried again, I deceit. Anyways, this was way too long. Uh, props to you if you listen to this entire rambling thingy. But yeah, let me know in the comments if what quote unquote underrated mon you want to see. So we got Spec Skelly today. Um, I have Coke <laughs> Koku probably next time. Or maybe Life of Zem. Life of Zem is actually pretty hard. What else? I don't have that many ideas. I have like some teams for my boy Vatron. They're like kinda interesting. Monolos to Venusaur here with Breeze. <laughs> we have Monolos to Ash Greninja from Vatron as well. Which is um which has a Gengar on it. Let me see it. Can I find it? It has a Gengar. Yeah yeah here, Monolos to Greninja. So Ash Greninja, the Ash Greninja counter is if Greninja is in on Lari, you have to predict if he goes for Dark Pulse or Pump. If you predict Pump, you stay in. If you predict Dark Pulse, you go Clef. I know it has. A, he, he said told me to make it Max, but that's Celeste Dealer, but that's not an Ash Green counter. You switch in like once Max, and if Rocks are up, you don't really switch in at all. But yeah, just let me know some underrated mon that you want to see. Um, uh, Blacephalon is a, also an interesting one. Mega DNC is an interesting one. Oh, nice, the fat team here. Don't look at this shit. Actually, this. I made this with my boy Seal like a month ago or something. Yeah, there's just some underrated ones. Like I have a Blaze teams. I have some where there's some Specs Blaze teams, but they're just not that great. Uh, Lopani is kind of interesting, but it's not that great in my opinion. So one problem I have that why is also a cool one. There's a team made by Skip. The problem I have like every team that you see at the moment is like standard. It's like these teams, the team that Sorry in a tournament made. It's like super solid. Oh, I made this knockoff by the way, it was Facade before. I know Facade is probably better for hitting Torn, but I just like knockoff. Um, like every team is the same, every tryhard team, so I just wanted to use some fun team. With like standard months, but then you have at least one or two creative months. Which can make it a bit more interesting and yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so you can expect at least hopefully every two days I upload. It's basically what I'm trying to say here. Because um, I know I haven't uploaded for like a super long time, which was like nine days. And before that, I only uploaded like every two or every three, day three days. So if I can do every second day, it would be cool. If I can do every day, it would be perfect. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Yeah. God, um, yeah. I messed up my outro, I feel like. I remember way too long. I could have said this in one minute and then wasted like five minutes. But yeah. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for tournament coverage, short on lives. I mean, that's pretty much all that is happening on my channel. Um, yeah, I don't really know if you have any other content suggestion. Um, a metagame analysis is a potential th that could be a thing on my channel. A metagame analysis with my friends. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, a metagame analysis if you want to see it for a specific Pokemon. Um, maybe if you want to know about usage, like how the usage changed and how that affected the tier. Uh, let's say at one point no one used SD Bulu, now SD Bulu is used quite a bit because it beats these balanced teams. That's an interesting one you could talk that could be could talk about. 
Yeah, if you want to see something like that and you're still watching for some reason, because you're insane if you're still watching my juicy ass rambling outro. Yeah, that's a, you can suggest that in the comments and then I will see who has time. Maybe Ultra Balls Eclipse, those two guys. Maybe Seal and Ultra Balls, maybe. Actually, Seal is not an OU main, but he, can still, he still has some knowledge. I guess I could do it with my man T. He has picked top 10 and T and Ultra Balls, maybe. Maybe Avon if he wants to join. I know he's a fantastic player. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Goodbye, friends. I don't know. I just can't find the perfect ending, so, I'm just, so I'll just keep talking. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and goodbye.